Welcome to In Case You Missed It or ICYMI, where we share announcements and cool stuff that might have flown under the radar with all of you Out Systems developers out there. So let's jump right into the updates for July 2021. Two updates are pretty much impossible to have flown under the radar, but just in case. So we now have the Mac IDE available for everyone. So you go to the downloads page if you're a developer that uses Mac OS. You no longer need to use VMs to get your out systems development work done. You can use the Service Studio native for Mac OS. It's available for everyone and Important note here, thank you to everyone that was part of the EAP and gave us feedback. That's how we make sure that we make a product that is important for you, that is useful for you, and that we can keep improving the product. So keep the feedback coming. We are listening. We will give you updates. Next, we have Integration Builder, which was released uh, for everyone this month. And pretty much it's yet another builder that aims to accelerate all those manual tasks and effort that you have to deal with every time you want to integrate with another service. So with a few clicks, you can have a correct integration service in your applications and ready to be used by everyone in your development team. So make sure to take a look and use it and keep the feedback coming. Talking about things that might have flown under the radar, the Out Systems Developer Conference tracks are now available for you to check so you can understand which topics are going to be talked about and if are of interest to you. And don't forget, if you didn't, please register so you can attend the conference. Talking about events, you can now have a new place to check everything related with user groups. So if you go to usergroups.outsystems.com, you'll find every user group available for you to join. You will be able to join and get uh, updates on your favorite user groups. Talking about things that you might have missed. Uh, my colleague Anna made a forum post that describes every important update and improvement that was made to our systems documentation and our online training. So go to the forums, check her forum posts. We'll leave the link below so you can keep updated on everything that was updated in this month of July. And thank you to the community members that helped by giving feedback or by contributing via GitHub. Thanks for that. And since some of those updates are Forge related, I'll pass this to my colleague Christiana so we can have this month's Forge updates. Thanks, Christiana. So for this month of Forge updates, we do have something related with documentation, and that is more specifically with Forge best practices to create and share a component with the community. So make sure to take a look if you're interested. And July was a busy month of trusted components. And I do feel that I say this every month, but well, bear with me. So, First of all, thank you to the assets creation team and the community members that are collaborating to make more trusted components and verified components to the Out Systems community. And I'm sorry, but I really will not be able to go through each one of them. But just as a summary, Firebase, Google Maps, front-end utilities, back-end utilities, a lot of stuff that you have that is now um, trusted. Uh, take a look it might help you. And moving on to supported components, we do have a new one that is the Amazon Simple Storage Service, also known as Amazon S3. And this is a new component that is now supported by our Alt System support. So you know what that means. It's the same level of support that you get for everything related with the Alt Systems platform. And I believe that you already know what S3 is. It's the AWS service that helps you uh, store objects in the cloud. And moving on to components that are made by our OutSystems community, we now have, and I have to read this, the server sends events push event hub and client component, which is the wrapper for the server sent events web API. And this is made with OutSystems code only, so you don't have the need to use third-party services, which can be a good alternative for all the components out there. And it can help you if you need to push real-time data from the server to the client, which might mean your application. 
Next, we have the Google Tasks integration service component, which, as the name implies, it's the integration with Google Tasks. So if you need to integrate with that service in your application to organize yourself or to organize your end users and they use the Google service, you can use this component to accelerate your work. And finally, I just want to give a quick shout out to the teams and the owners of the React file pond upload component and drag and drop reactive component because they were part of the top 10 components made by community members that had the most downloads in the month of July. So congratulations and thank you for being part of the community and helping others. And I guess that's it for the month of July in terms of Forge updates. Thank you and see you in the next one. And that's a wrap for this month's In Case You Missed It. Let us know in the comments below if we missed anything. Um, and make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell icon and everything that you have to do so you know when the next episode of ICYMI is up. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>